Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. Welcome back to Self Discovery Support. Today, we're going to do a reading looking at your person's thoughts, feelings, and what they might be doing with regards to you. So, yeah, we're going to come up with some information and do remember that there is free will and this is just picking up on energies. So, here we go. Alright, so let's get a message. Let's get the energy of Cancer's person. What are their thoughts about Cancer? Oh my goodness, this just all fell out. But like, I'm going to take this one because this one flew out first. That's the Three of Wands. Okay, so let's get the feelings. What are the feelings of Cancer's person? towards cancel justice okay three of wands and justice here all right so let's get some possible action that cancel's person might be taking towards cancel what might cancel's person be doing what actions might they be taking? The Hermit. Okay, so it seems like we have someone who, let's look at the um, hidden energies though. Ace of Spears, there's something about truth, something about some clarity. Like, I feel like this is here telling us a truth here, so let's see. Three of Wands. This person might be thinking that they see the possibilities in coming towards you. They're looking, they're, they're at least looking outwardly now, but they're still waiting, right? They're still, they're still in that waiting phase and not quite sure if they should take that move, take that risk. I feel like they're planning, I feel like right now they're just like, surveying like what are the possibilities if i went this way what would happen and then so their feeling is that there's some there's some sense that they want some kind of justice in their life some kind of karmic fairness we're going to clarify soon because i would love to find out more about what this justice is here about you know this could go either way justice for me can sometimes it can indicate divorce i don't know if your person is um, in some kind of committed relationship like that, but they might be feeling that the fair thing to do would be considering you. And then in terms of doing, I think they're in a lot of thought now. So this person does seem like this whole energy is about like waiting, reflecting, considering what is right, and actually coming into some kind of truth. Right, coming into some kind of clarity. Yeah, exactly the energy. Four of spares. This person is in resting mode. They are just I think that something has happened that they're they're needing to recover, recuperate before they go on some other journey. You know, the three of wands always talks it's like right before you go on that journey. Success is coming, you're waiting on those ships to come in, but you're still in that phase where you're just, you know, it's like just before you take an action. And justice does have a lot of deliberation in it, right? And the universe sometimes is what helps us with that. We have the hermit here. Yeah, this person is really consulting their inner wisdom. They're consulting. Yeah, they're going inwards, reflecting on all that's happened. Okay, let's get some clarity through clarifying these cards okay so please tell us why three of wands is here i'm gonna just that's a lot fell out three of wands why is the three of wands here yeah so eight of wands this person is like they want to send a message they want to move towards you take some momentum this is more like, yeah, energy coming towards, but there is, this is interesting because this is like, 
direct motion going towards somebody. It's like somebody who's made up their mind, but then you have this waiting. It's like two opposites, right? This person does not know whether they should go towards or stay here. Or maybe it's a period just before you decide to take that action. Let's see more. All right, why is justice here? Justice is... <laughs> This has been happening in in so many readings lately. And I, I think, Cancer, you've been victim of this as well. Like, justice is here because justice, right? It's, I think it's like double clock confirmation. Something major is changing here. Somebody is really considering that. I think this is why they're considering is because if they were to move towards you to come to take some action, this is going to require a lot of... I don't know, it's like it's really going to require a big shift. The tower is not here, but it's going to shake up a lot of things, I feel. It's going to be, a ma to for them to come towards you is a major shift. It's almost like rolling a stone uphill. This person is almost reorienting their whole self. And the universe is on this, right, as well major justice coming for them to come back to you this makes me think of something one-sided um king of swords somebody wants to know be truthful and honest and open yep um they're not coming in um you know this just slipped out i was shuffling and this just slipped out i'm gonna place this right here as a kind of extra energy um heartbreak right it just seem like there's something that happens. Okay, so I feel like there's a family involved here. Some long-term situation, some other situation, and this person is wanting to pursue a new beginning. It could also be that this person sees that possibility in you to have this um, happiness. Yeah. I, I think this goes well with the justice because it's telling me that the world is telling me that for them to come towards you it'd be almost like full cycle of something that would be ultimately in your favor like your fairness they're feeling that it I want to say like it's I want to say it's the right thing to do but you know sometimes the right thing is not necessarily the easy thing uh, okay why is the hermit here Ten of Wands, yeah. There are a lot of like kind of fairly positive cards, and I was just waiting on that card that was going to explain why all of this is happening. Ten of Wands, yeah. This person is this this Three of Swords is telling me that there's been a lot of pain, and they do have a serious burden here. Um, hidden energies, Nine of Pentacles. I do see a story here of, you know, if I, I did mention in the beginning that justice can talk about divorce. I'm really thinking, and I did bring up the Ten of Cups before, if this, there's someone here that may be getting some kind of divorce, and therefore they're waiting on something, and they're having to, like, you just have to wait on it before you can take action, right? This is what this is telling me here, if I think about that, as if if I think about justice as divorce, and so in this period they're really thinking about how heavy this has been, and the context of all of this is this has really been painful for them. Um, yeah, your person is going through it. They're going through it. Yeah, and I feel like that lends this a new um, energy, which is someone needs to, they know that they need to heal something, they need to restore and repair something. They do want to take that move to take like, to have truth, right? They come into some kind of clarity. Um, I feel like this is like the side story 
I feel like in someone's life, they're they're somewhere else. They may be off at a distance here, and that's why the Eight of Wands is there, telling us that you know someone is thinking about taking this action towards you, and they're feeling like they're feeling heartbroken. Let's just say that, yeah. There's something major that's shaken up in their life. Some major thing that's coming into balance. Some karmic move that has brought about a lot of heartbreak. A lot of sadness. And this has been a huge burden. Um, it's really sent this person in inwards. You know, normally I don't think of the hermit as something um, to do with like sadness and depression. I, but one doesn't really get forced to go inwards if something major hasn't happened. And I do feel like there's, I do feel an air of sadness. Like, yeah, this person is, they need the time. So if, if you are dealing with someone that they're not coming forward or you're wondering like where are they, I do think this person needs that time to recover from whatever it is that they've been through. Um, here is the Ace of Spears. Four of Spears and then right under that, the Empress. So somebody sees you in this light. And they, 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 they're very clear now that they want to move towards healing something to, yeah, they, they're clear that they want to restore something, even though this tells me something about being on some kind of break. Maybe they're not in your presence at this moment. Wheel of Fortune here. They want to take a, a, a kind of step to, to change something. And that step is the Eight of Cups walking away from something right did we not see that here that there there's a heartbreak and i did i don't know if it's divorce it doesn't have to be but it, it sure feels like something heavy and strong like that and here we have nine of cups so yeah this person is really contemplating walking away to find and pursue the happiness in their life death something has ended yeah, something is re is redoing, revamping itself. You know, your person, five of spirits and five of wands. So five, five here, that's really a number of change and conflict. I do feel this person feels like they have lost a lot. And it feels like they're going through a lot. There's a lot of conflicted energy king of spears here again so we saw king of swords before and now it's here again so somebody really is coming into some clarity some truth about a new beginning that they want to have in life um i do feel this is someone that understands now what it is that makes them happy because it clearly they have been through something that has not really worked in their favor. That's, I don't know, that's what I'm picking up. And I do sense that they do see you as single. And this could also, like if this is not you, um, this could be them. Maybe they are now single and independent and free. Um, or they see you that way. Eight of Pentacles, they want to work on, um, I kid you not, that's the Three of Wands again. So, yeah. This person, I feel, I don't know why I feel this is the energy of your person, but this person is potentially thinking that they want to work towards coming towards you for this Ten of Cups. Yep. They're waiting on something, and as soon as that's, as soon as they've decided um, the new beginning, they're ready to launch. So, what I see is that this is not like instantly, but um, because this person is still in waiting mode, you know, but I do see a lot of um, intent. There's a, there's a whole thing in the middle of this spread, which is almost like a block. Something has to change here. We did see the Wheel of Fortune, right? Um, yeah, this, there, 
they're in the process of getting some fairness. Could be involved in something legal. But there's just some kind of karmic equation, right? That's, that needs to be balanced out. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to get a next steps for you, um, Cancel. So we're using um, the spirit song to get the, yeah, messages from spirit guides. Okay, please give us next steps advice for cancel. Which spirit guide wants to speak to cancel? Okay, this one comes out first, but a whole bunch. Three of feathers. No, the three of feathers is the very same card that jumped out at us before in another deck, in this deck here. It's the Three of Swords in the main, in regular decks. And here we have it again. The, the message here being release, recovery. This is a moth, you know, I think of, um, this is a special kind of moth. Let's see, let's get the message from the guidebook. Okay, yeah, Three of Feathers is that moth. Whenever I see this, I always think like a moth to a flame. Although it does remind me of a butterfly, I do think of um, transition and transformation with that. But here, let's go. So, message, with an inner knowing, moth seeks a light in the darkness. Her journey to find the light may navigate her through ongoing darkness. Yet she holds faith in knowing that she will move through the rough patches Moth urges you to not deny nor suppress heartache, but to allow your feelings to flow freely so they may eventually be released. The weight of sadness will be transformed into love and courage. New breakthroughs will take place. And the key words here are emotional release, delays, disorder, sorrow, moving into personal power, letting go of negative energies and recovery. So I feel like that wraps up everything we've sp we uh, spoke about in this reading. We talked about recovery. We did see that four of spares there, four of swords, talking about repairing recovery. We did see a death card here, talking about transforming, releasing. Um, yeah. And I do want to just point out that this came out, this three of swords came out, this one came out for your person. But this one came out as your next steps. So what I'm really feeling is that between the two of you, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of, yeah, difficult emotions, right? And we have justice twice. I think that signifies for me that this would be justice for both you and them were this to be resolved. And I think there's something here about moving into your personal power and letting go of negative energy the ten of wands is here right that's a real burden this person is carrying every emotion on their back and sometimes you need to retreat inside ten of wands is completion right it, there's nothing more at the end of that but to start again yeah so i feel like it's almost going to be over it's difficult right now, but um, we do see Ace of Spares here in the energy. I do feel that means new. That means new clarity, new truth. And I feel like that's what's needed sometimes to clear the air. Is like new communication. And we do see that here, Eight of Wands. This is on their mind. Um, I feel like for you in this process, it's really to get good with resolving any pain so that if this does come back around and this is something you want to resolve I feel that more than anything here this is about resolving things yeah well that's it for you uh, cancel and I hope you enjoy this reading and please do like comment and subscribe of course and I will see you back here again thank you